This is the second video since uh, we got our synthesizers.com cabinet, our first set of modules. And in this little short uh, clip, we're going to show you some waveforms and some basic stuff to uh, prove to you the excellent quality that we get from synthesizers.com. I love analog gear. I absolutely love analog gear. And I think anybody that has analog gear is going to love analog gear. For me, it's all about the wires and knobs, the ability to look at the waveforms on the oscilloscope to patch various uh, parts of the modules into the oscilloscope and measure things. And uh, this is a certain tactile satisfaction, a certain joy. This is what the sine wave looks like from the Q106 oscillator. This is the triangle wave. It's what the triangle wave looks like. This is what the sawtooth wave looks like. Sawtooth wave. And the ramp is in the other direction. It's what the ramp looks like. Excellent square wave response at both high and low frequencies. Pulse width control works good. Excellent. Adjust the duty cycle of the wave in either direction. And when it's in the middle of the position, we have virtually a square wave. When it's at five, we've got the... That's how our white noise sounds. White noise. That's how our big noise sounds. And we filter it even further. We're using the low frequency output there, which sounds more like a subwoofer hiss. You can hear that in the background, very deep noise. That's the low frequency output. Okay, we're going to run the white noise through the Moogie ladder filter and see what happens. Right now the uh, frequency is down so it's completely cut off. The low, low pass filter is cut off everything. Here we go with no resonance. And as we turn up the resonance The filter starts to sing. Okay, listen to the filter singing with a very pure sine wave with absolutely no input. We have absolutely no single input, signal input into the filter and we've got the resonance turned up to oscillation level and uh, we're singing.
It takes a little more energy in the resonance control to get it to get it to sing in the lower regions. Looseness in the ground connection. But there you can see it's a very pure sine wave in truth. Much better, much better in fact than the uh, than the sine wave we were getting from the oscillators. Uh, this definitely is a purer sine wave here that we're getting with the ladder filter than we were getting with the uh, with the oscillators. So what we would like to do now is um, what we would like to do now is see what we get with the state variable filter and and compare the behavior of that. Yes, the state variable filter is also capable of sine wave oscillation as you can see here from this waveform a nice uh, sine wave is being generated there on the scope uh, but I noticed that the state variable filter uh, it has more hum and noise uh, you know it has a, a higher background noise than the other one I'm gonna let you hear that in a minute but I just wanted to show the pure waves that can be obtained from all two when they self resonate without any input. I don't know if you can hear that in the video, but that's the background hum and hiss with the uh, frequency control turned way up. Let's go with the resonance now and see how we can get it to oscillate. Ah, uh, there we go. Folks, if you've been enjoying the show so far, I'd love you to go over to our Facebook page, 21st Century Music, and uh, like the page and uh, drop us a comment. Wouldn't you do that for us? Like us on Facebook and drop us a comment today and we'll be sure to include your questions and problems right into our show. I want to let you know that I'm totally happy with my synthesizers.com modules and I want you to know that it's good circuitry a handcrafted to precision and their customer service is first class you can buy with confidence from synthesizers.com thank you so much for watching the Stephen Mendes channel and we'll see you soon again